Hi, today we're going to be going over B6 of Putnam 2016. Out of the 3,214 people that did sit this exam, only 20 were able to score a perfect score on B6. Clearly, the problem is quite challenging. If you want to give the problem a shot, pause the video now. Now that I hope you've tried the problem, here's how to do it. Personally, when I see several summations all together, I think of clever ways of interchanging them perhaps, or maybe even introducing integrals and swapping them around. Also, one thing to note is that this summation itself is, well, the expression for natural log of 2. But I can't substitute that in just yet because I also have a k here. Perhaps if I were able to interchange this term into this summation somehow with the, with the help of an integral or just anything maybe I could use the Taylor series expansion of natural log of 1 plus x that gives us motivation to try to represent our term here as an integral the most direct way I can see is through integral from 0 to 1 of x to the n dx is 1 over n plus 1 I can replace n here with k times 2 to the n, and we've got our integral representation. So let's rewrite the sum then. We have s equals summation from k equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 over k. Summation from n equals 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 of x times k to the k times 2 to the n dx i have a power of x here now and this looks promising i feel more inclined to using the taylor series of natural log of 1 plus x now let's just swap the integrals and summations around which we can do because we know that the sum does indeed converge we then have s equals integral from 0 to 1 sum from n equals 0 to infinity sum from k equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 x to the 2 to the n all to the power of k over k dx now for those of you familiar with the taylor series of natural log of 1 plus x this is a direct substitution the summation now reduces to only s equals integral from 0 to 1 sum from n equals 0 to infinity of natural log of 1 plus x to the 2 to the n this looks a bit more manageable now but how are we going to deal with this summation well let's just write out a few terms this would be the natural log of 1 plus x plus natural log of 1 plus x squared, and so on. What do I know about summations and logarithms? I do know that there's this one property, namely that if I have natural log of ABC, that's natural log of A plus natural log of B plus natural log of C. Perhaps I can do the opposite. If I have a summation, I can rewrite it as a product. Let's see where that takes us we then have s equals integral from 0 to 1 natural log on the outside of the product from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 plus x time x to the 2 to the n dx now we're left with only doing this product and for those of you who are familiar with jacobi products this is good news for those of you who aren't let's just write out a few terms and observe something very interesting well, the first term is just 1 plus x. The second term multiplied would be 1 plus x squared, which gives us 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. The third term, well, that would give us, if we write it out, that would be 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the 4 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 7. And if we put in another term, I hope you guys can see what's happening now. 
this one here it multiplies into all of these terms and gives all the powers less than 2 to the n here and this 8 multiplies with all of these terms and gives all the power up to the next 2 to the n plus 1 so this gives us all the powers up to 2 to the n and this can be done by induction as we have an infinite sum well it's gonna give us all the powers of 2 and well actually all the powers of x so we see that this summation or sorry this product reduces to just this infinite series we know that our domain is 0 to 1 and for absolute value of x less than 1 this geometric series converges to 1 over 1 minus x I can then rewrite this problem and it becomes a very classic integral then s equals the integral from 0 to 1 of natural log of 1 over 1 minus x well uh, from the properties of natural logarithm I can rewrite this as the negative of 0 to 1 of natural log of 1 minus x this is a trivial integral that you can do by substituting u equals 1 minus x let's do that the limits then would change uh, you have dx over du equals negative 1 so you'd have s equals uh, integral from 1 to 0 of natural log of u du which would then be uh, u natural log of u minus u from 1 to 0 I know that the limit as u goes to 0 u goes to 0 of natural log of u to the u is 0 so the answer that we're left with is s equals minus minus 1 which is 1 the answer to our daunting summation is a whopping 1 that was b6 of putnam 2016 a seemingly challenging problem that's the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please do leave a like and a comment letting me know what you liked most if you didn't please do leave a comment letting me know how to improve i'm always open to hearing your suggestions do subscribe to my account if you haven't yet and share this video with some friends i'm always trying to put out the best math content out there